You can measure a man by observing his kids, chatting with his childhood friends, or both, which is what I did during a recent film shoot for a TV commercial for Rob Andrews Senate campaign. This is a family sacrifice, but I mean, obviously you guys are, you know, really, really good team members. Yeah, I mean, with the whole team members thing, we've always been doing that for each other. To be honest, he's probably sacrificed so much more than my sister or I have. I had to get up, I was telling you about getting up at 5 a.m. every morning for crew, and now I at least get to wake up with him. He gets up at 5 a.m. every single morning to go work out and then go to Washington by 6. That's what you do for a family and it's really not sacrificing anything. What's it like when you read like nasty things about your family? I know they're not true. My dad, he's the best man I ever know. I think I captured the moment where your father found out that your sister's boyfriend has his driver's license. Do you think that's going to be a distraction heading into June 3rd? Um, no. I think it actually helps just to, it's part of being the normal family. That's really, women have come a long way. And what they're doing in the House of Representatives is probably a big deal of how, um, obviously it's been a big uh, way for that to happen. And. I think that my dad can keep it going and make it even better. That's awesome. All right, you want to go get a donut or something? Yes, I actually want to have okay. whatever you're eating. <laughs> you guys graduated from high school together. Yes. Yes. And um, Brighton High School, 1975. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea a little bit of um, Rob's character, my mom will probably remember this. I was going out for the basketball team in high school, and, and we were very, very financially strapped. <clears throat> and I had a pair of sneakers that were all ripped up, and I was quite embarrassed to, to go to the tryouts with these ripped up sneakers. And I asked my mom, I said, you know, can I get a new pair of sneakers? And they were $8 Chuck Taylors. I remember that, $8. And she said, we don't have the $8. We just don't have it. And so I only told one person. And um, that was Rob. Two days later, I found my doorstep a pair of sneakers. And he won't admit it to this day, but I know that it was him and his parents because I, you know, didn't tell anybody else that we couldn't afford to get the sneakers. And his parents were wonderful people. And so if anybody wants to know his integrity, that's the kind of person that he is. Well, I can tell from your voice that there's a tremendous amount of pride and affection that you feel. But I'm wondering, because, you know, in high school, your best friend is the most ambitious guy ever, the most likely to succeed. That's kind of got to be a drag. Well, actually, it helped pull me up, made me be a better person because of the people I associated with. And Rob was always at the lead. I mean, anything that was going on, if you look through our senior yearbook, pictures of him throughout the whole year, but really? in his same <laughs> brown suit. Seeing your dad um, dressed in a pair of khakis and a sweater is, uh, is a new experience. I've known him for five years and I've never seen him outside of a Brooks Brothers suit. Yeah, I've known him my whole life and I don't think I have many times either. He always like, he'll dress down when we're on vacation, but when we're not, yeah, he's always wearing a suit. So today was like, well, once in a blue moon sort of thing. Oh, so it was a...